EastEnders legend Danny Walters was forced to apologize to friends and family after deceitfully pulling the wool over their eyes last year. EastEnders star Danny Walters, who played Keanu Taylor, spoke exclusively to Express.co.uk on the Cirque du Soleil red carpet this week, revealing exactly who he's been lying to among his loved ones and why. Last year's Christmas Day murder storyline saw Linda Carter, played by Kelly Bright, knife Keanu in the back to prevent him from strangling Sharon Watts, Letitia Dean, at the Queen Vic, and it had viewers glued to their screens. However, Danny has now confessed that his nearest and dearest were as oblivious to the details of the gripping storyline as members of the public had been, as he intentionally kept them in the dark. I had to keep it separate from my private life, he revealed, adding that Head apologized to family and friends for keeping it a secret for so long. I had to be deceitful, he chuckled, before explaining that he's welcome time out after his intense experience playing Keanu. After playing an intense role for five years, it's nice to step back and breathe again, he explained. However, he doesn't intend to be out of the spotlight for long, revealing. Whether it be taking on another character or creating my own show, I am excited to see what the future holds. Danny had been talking at the Cirque du Soleil's latest show, Allegria, in a new light, which debuted at London's Royal Albert Hall earlier this week. Dot. He was looking forward to catching up with the incredibly athletic stunts of dancers and acrobats at the show, with characters swinging from the ceiling, juggling multiple hoops at a time and even triple backflipping across the stage. Although Danny is sticking solely to acting and TV work at the minute, and hasn't expressed an interest in taking up a dance part, he hasn't ruled anything out. His Christmas Day shocker storyline saw him become one of the hottest and most widely discussed soap characters of 2023, so he's likely to be in high demand. Discussing his death scenes previously, he marveled that acting them out had been a real rollercoaster of emotions but a genuine pleasure to film. He cunningly gave away absolutely nothing about whether or not he'd be the murder victim, or who the killer would turn out to be, when he discussed the momentous storyline late last year.